Hey, it's Coach Chris with HoopsKing.com here, and I want to talk to you about the grab and control rebound device. Now, what this is, it's a resistance cable with a strap to hold the basketball. And the idea is, is that you put this up and put it on a wall, you can put it up on the rim. We're going to put it up on the rim today, and we're going to show you that you can do rebounding drills with this, you know, very quickly, get a lot of reps in. Uh, one thing I think of the, that's really good for, if you got people going on up and down the court and you got some kids sitting out on the sideline, this is a great tool to work on rebounding on the sideline because you aren't going to have basketballs flying out on the court while the other kids are playing. So you can put several of these up on the side baskets, kids can jump up and rebound them, and we don't have to worry about basketballs coming out on the court. So there's a strap here where your basketball is going to go in. And I'll admit, I cheated a little bit here. I used a junior ball, 27 and a half inch. I didn't have to deflate it. If you're gonna use a, a women's or a men's full-size ball, you're gonna to wanna to deflate the basketball uh, before you put it in there, get it in the strap, and then you're gonna reinflate the ball after to get it in there. Uh, but the first part of that is the strap. One other thing I like about the strap is, let me show you this quick. You really could do this also. You could take this, strap it shut like you would anyway. And now you could hook that up to uh, a lat pull down machine or you know any weight machine that has a pulley on it and you could use the basketball uh, i've seen basketballs out there that have a hook on them and such you know they cost about a hundred dollars this you get the rebounder and you can still use the ball for your tricep push downs your rotations whatever you want to do there's lots of exercises you can do with this uh, in the weight room as well. So that's another benefit of it. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach it to the cord here, the resistance cord. And it's just gonna go through the one end here. If you can zoom in, I'll do the best I can to get it through there. All right, so now we're through there. And then we're gonna re-strap it, attach it. Okay, so there we go. Now we have the basketball and you can pretty much see the effect we're going to have here. So if we got this strapped up, you're going to be able to grab it and pull down on it and pivot out. Uh, anytime you're using this, very strongly recommended you don't let kids have this themselves obviously. Always should be supervised by an adult when using this because the ball can snap back, hit somebody in the face and that's not going to be any fun. So adult supervision required when using this. Uh, the next part of this is we can adjust the length of the cable and we'll just do it like a standard belt looping a belt through. So if I just pull this, loosen it up here and then I can just pull it on through. I can push it up, you can see there, and now I'm going to pull it on down through and there. Now it's longer here, shorter there. Do the same thing and push back up on it, pull it all the way down here, and then I pull the other side through, and now look where we are. Now we're about even, okay? And now the top part of this is we're going to hook it on the rim, just going to snap or whatever you got. You got to hook on the wall, or whatever. You can use this for volleyball as well. You know, if you're at volleyball, work on your spike on a volleyball. Uh, you could actually get a football in there. And if you want to work on diving, catching, you know, whatever you do for football, I'm not as familiar with that or volleyball, but you can get different balls in here. So that's how you adjust it. So let's put it on the rim and see what it looks like. I'm going to show you how to put on the grab and control uh, rebounder to the basket or whatever else you had to hook it to, basically. Uh, I do want to tell you that this rim isn't 10 foot right now. I think it's around 9 foot uh, just for filming purposes. We don't have it all the way up. But I'm going to take your strap here and just going to loop it around the back of the rim. It's probably about the best spot. Snap it. And there you go. Now you'll see I have some extra cord dangling here. Since I adjusted my size, I can just run that through the bottom part of the strap and then just end up tying that, tying that close so that that's not bouncing around. Just tie it not too tight. Don't want to make a big a knot that I can't get out of there. So that's basically it. And again, that's kind of low. If you're working with kids, that wouldn't be too bad. And again, the rim's not 10 foot right now. So I'm just going to show you how it's going to work.